In this video, we look at equations or linear equations of the form ax plus b is equal to c. So we're looking at equations where a, b, and c are all constants, 7, 8, 9, that kind of thing, uh, and x is the variable that we're solving for. Now remember that in this sort of situation, what we're trying to do is apply some mathematical operations in order that we end up with something of the form x equal to something or other, some sort of number. So that's what we're aiming for, and we're going to apply some operations. So let's look at a specific example where we define these constants as follows. We're going to have 6x minus 12 is equal to 48. Now I've picked some nice numbers so that this all works out fairly uh, well in the end. So 6x minus 12 equals 48. Now the things stopping us from turning this into our x equals to something sort of form are the fact that we've got a 6 multiplying by the x and we've also got a minus 12 here that's sort of messing things up a little bit. So we're going to apply some operations now to get rid of those and end up with x equals something. The first thing I'm going to try to get rid of is the minus 12, basically because it's the easiest one to get rid of. Now to get rid of a minus 12, what I'm going to do is add 12. So I'm going to write on the left hand side 6x minus 12 plus 12 because minus 12 plus 12 is 0 so it's going to disappear but remember we have to make sure we do the same thing to both sides so I'm going to go 48 plus 12 on the right side and we're doing that because uh, we don't want to change what the equation actually is we just want to change what it looks like so simplifying that down remember minus 12 plus 12 they're just going to knock each other out and leave us with 0 so we've got 6x and 48 plus 12 on the right, that's just 60. So now we're back at the situation where we've got a multiple of x equal to some number. When we have a multiple of x and we want to get rid of the multiple, we divide it. So we divide by exactly the same number, 6x divided by 6 on the left. And of course, as usual, do the same thing on both sides, so 60 divided by 6 on the right. And now it's a matter of cleaning that up. So we are going to have 6 on 6. Those are going to knock each other out. 6 divided by 6 is, of course, 1. So we'd be left with 1x or just simply x. On the right-hand side, 60 divided by 6, we can do that. That's just going to leave us with 10. So we've got our final result there, x equal to 10. We've changed our original linear equation here through a couple of operations into an x equals something, and x equals 10 in this case.